now is a moment to just put aside everything that you came in here with and anything that's about the future. Just just let it all float away. Just, just be here, right. present in this moment. Uh, and the way we always do that is by doing a couple of uh, breaths to bring us into this moment. So uh, let's do that. And uh, actually, let's do this breath. This is kind of a, I don't know how you feel, but like, I, it's been a busy day for me. So um, maybe we just some, do some, a real nice letting go type of a breath. Uh, the sniffing breath, right? Have, we done, we, have I done that with you, the sniffing breath? I hope you like it. I think it's fun. And it really does kind of, you know, you fill up and then you just blow it all out, right? So it's a, okay. So we'll do that five times and be sure you're sitting down because you're going to get a lot of oxygen. You're going to get dizzy. <laughs> okay. If you're doing this right, you should really get dizzy. So that's good. And that's a good thing. So let's just blow out all the stale dead air and then three sniffs in and blow it out. Really empty out those logs, press the belly in and begin three deep sniffs and blow it out lift the chin as you're as you're breathing in okay lift that chin up as you're sniffing and blow it out again three sniffs in and out 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 one more sniff 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 and let it go. Woo! My head is spinning. All that oxygen. We don't breathe that much oxygen in in an hour. Oh, so, just feel the effects of that. Oh, your, t your fingers might be even tingling. Sending all that good oxygen to all parts of the body. Hmm. So here we are in this precious, holy moment. Because it's in this moment that all possibilities exist. This is where forgiveness is. This is where joy is. This is where um, uh, all the good stuff is. Right here in this moment. Because we know what's in the past, right? We don't want to go there. And the future could be a little scary. But right here, in this moment, is bliss. So just be here. Hmm. So what does it mean to be joyful? How do we get to be joyful? Where does it come from? And how do we experience it? What does it look like? Well, the truth is, joy is never outside. It's not in anything going on in our lives. It has nothing to do with that. Joy is an internal experience. It comes from within. It's, it's the ability to turn within, to go within to our higher self and connect. And in that connection, we find joy. Because connecting, communicating, sharing are all the things that happen when we make that connection with our higher self so that we can hear, we can hear the guidance that we need to answer all our problems. All the solutions that we require are right here now in that connection. And when we've solved our problems, what do we have? We have joy. <laughs> That's what's left. 
after all the other stuff is wiped away. So how do we get to this moment? Well, we have to encourage it. We have to nurture it. We have to want it. And that's easier said than done, right? It's easier to say, oh, I wish I could be peaceful and happy and joyful, but there's this problem and that problem, this and something else. So how can I possibly be happy? And that is not the truth, not the truth. Because happiness comes through a decision and it's based on my willingness to experience my God-given right to feel the joy and peace of God. God gave us that. If we're not feeling it, it's not because God deserted us. It's because we have deserted God. Or spirit, or higher consciousness, whatever you want to call it. We've deserted that connection and replaced it with a sense of separation and loneliness and fear, trepidation, all of those ego things. So isn't that great to know we have a choice? We can choose joy at any given moment. And the best time to do it is when we're in the midst of some really tough stuff. That's the best time. Any time is good. But that's really when we, when we want that, when we ask for it in the midst of some chaotic thing going on in our lives, then we know we're truly on a path of self-love. Because it's only in self-love where we make decisions that say, stop this insanity, let me let go of the pain and suffering, and let me choose the joy and the peace of creation instead. So let's just take a moment or two now and just revel in a sense of joy. Ask for it. Demand it. In a loving way, of course. And then sit back and experience the waves of joy that will flow over you simply because you know you deserve it. So go ahead.
right. So. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed your bay, your bath of joy. <laughs> uh, and just remember, this is something you can do for yourself anytime. Anytime at all. Anytime you're feeling stressed or tired or um, upset about anything, take a joy bath. Just go somewhere quiet and sit and let it wash over you simply because you request it, because you deserve it, because you are a holy child of the creative source. So let's take one more slow, deep breath in. And as we release that breath, you can let your eyes open. And we're back.